In this example, we've created our pieces, um, and you can see our seam lines are highlighted in cyan. Um, we don't have pieces created for the port side of the vessel. Uh, we'll just simply uh, mirror these pieces when we go to nest them. Uh, so what we'll do now is um, we will convert to exact flat. Uh, we're getting a mesh created for each piece. Uh, that mesh will allow us to solve for the flat pattern. Uh, we're also creating uh, pieces using smoothing curves. And those smooth curves can be adjusted uh, at some future point. And here we will assign material properties to the pieces. So we'll assign them all to this uh, sample PVC coated material. Now we'll go into the flattener to solve the flat patterns. Uh, but before we do that, let's go to the pattern view. Just make sure that none of these pieces are too wide. And what we can do is just measure the uh, width. And this one's 56, 55, and 3 eighths. Uh, if, if it's too big, what we would do is go back and uh, adjust the split line in the 3D model. So I'll go into the flattener now. And in the flattener, we'll create a um, an analysis mesh. Uh, this one is our, our coarse mesh. Uh, what we'll do is create a refined mesh here using the adaptive remesher. And now we have a good mesh. What we'll do is click the optimize button. And we'll remove as much strain as possible from these patterns. And at this point, we might go back. If our strain exceeds uh, what's allowable, we may go back and add darts, uh, move a seam line, etc. And this one here is moving a little bit slower than the others. That's not too bad. Okay, so the patterns are complete. We'll click OK. And what this doing, what this is doing now, is making nice smooth splines through these pattern edges. So our patterns have finished rebuilding, and we'll go look at them. Uh, here are all the pattern pieces.